What up, family? It's your boy, Javer Fitzbogle, coming at you again with another detoxified word of the day. Let's get it in. So, super interesting topic that we're going to be hitting real quick. Understanding the angel of the Lord. Now, the angel comes in the Bible so many times. We hear the angel of God, the angel of the Lord appear. Now, I want to just make this clear. The angel of the Lord is a spokesman directly sent from God. In other words, the angel of the Lord is God. God's spokesman. A spokesman is someone who makes statements or talks about something on the behalf of another individual. In this context, the angel of the Lord speaks on the behalf of God. And so we see that this angel of God, this angel of the Lord, was often around many times during the Old Testament. One of the clear examples and, and places that we see this occurring in the beginning was when Abraham was about to kill or sacrifice his son. And the angel of God or the angel of the Lord appeared before for Abraham in order to stop him in Genesis 22 and verse 12. Let's read it together. And so it says, don't lay a hand on the boy. The angel said, do not hurt him in any way. For now I know that you truly fear God. You have not withheld from me, even your son, your only son, man, like I, this scripture was so powerful. Like, I really want to just like start preaching hard because this, this is some crazy. This scripture is so powerful. Let me ask you something. What is that one thing that you keep holding on to? That thing that you don't want to sacrifice for the gain of Christ. Abraham understood that nothing would ever separate him from the love of God, not even his son. That's so powerful because today many of us find ourselves in positions where we value the things of this world much more than the things of God. Even when it comes on to family, I tell you that nobody is worth your salvation. I don't care if they're your family, your mama, your daddy, or your kid. There is no one on God's green earth that is worth your soul. Turn with me to Exodus 3 verses 2 to 3. Let's read it together. And it says there the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a blazing fire. Moses, by the way, from the middle of a bush and Moses stared in amazement. Though the bush was engulfed in flames, it didn't even burn up. This was amazing. And Moses said to himself, why isn't this burning bush burning up? This is crazy. I must go and see it. Turn with me to Judges 6, 11 to 12, where it says, Then the angel of the Lord came and sat beneath the great tree of Ophrah, which belonged to Joash of the clan of Abizit, Ab, Ab, Abiz, Abizer, Abizar. Gideon's son of Joash was threshing wheat at the bottom of the winepress to hide the grain from the Midianite, Mid, Mid, Midianites. Midianites. Oh, we get the picture. The angel showed up. And there are many other instances in the Bible, like in Genesis 16, 7 to 12, Numbers 22, 21 to 35, 2 Kings 1 and verse 3. It is important to understand that, yes, even now, even today, the angel of the Lord, the angel of God can show up in your life. It can show up in this life, in the lives of others. And when the angel comes, he will speak with a message that is from God. It will be clear, concise, and filled with the truth of God. Anyways, guys, I hope that helped you to understand just a little bit more of what the angel of the Lord is and why the angel of the Lord shows up to communicate a message from God. But hey, family, thank you so much for watching this video. If it has been a blessing, like always, please double tap and subscribe below. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please email me at thedetoxmovement at gmail.com or leave your comments in the description below. With that being said, stay tuned for another video that's going to drop tomorrow. I'm trying to hit these daily vlog, vlog videos each day so that I can just help to empower the people that are around me so that we can understand and grow as a community as a body, as a fellowship, as brothers and sisters in Christ, and even those that don't know the Lord, hey, we all need to learn just the same. So I pray that these videos are blessing your life, that they're helping you to grow and understand a little bit more about some of the terms that come in the Bible and what they mean to us as believers and those who are coming to know this person that we call Jesus Christ. But with that being said, like always, if you haven't gained anything here today, if you don't understand nothing else, I need you to understand that you are loved, you are blessed, you are beautiful, and most importantly, you are detoxified by God's amazing grace. And until next time, y'all, remember, Jesus loves.
Peace.